Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at lead code problem and the problem's name is task scheduler. So in this question, we're given an array of CPU tasks, each represented by a capital letter A through Z, and we're also given a cooling time of N. Each cycle or interval allows the completion of one task. And in one interval or a cycle, it allows the completion of one task only. And our task is to find the minimum number of intervals needed to complete all the tasks. And the rules to complete the task are you can complete the task in any order, but there is a constraint that identical tasks must be separated by at least n intervals due to the cooling time. So let's take this example one. We are given the task A A A B B B and the cooling time n is equal to 2. So in this question, you see there are two different types of tasks A and B. A is appearing three times and B is appearing three times. So we need to complete three tasks of A and three tasks of B. So let's say first we are completing task A. So we are left with two A tasks. Now we can't complete A again because there has to be cooling time of two. So we take the remaining task. So B is reduced and we do task B. And N was initially two. When you did B, it was one. But still there is cooling time of one. So this will be the idle time. So your CPU has to be idle now. And now N is equal to zero. And now you can do the A task. So you do A and this cooling time is resetted back to two. Now you do task B. So there is one B task left. You can't do task A again because the cooling type is not yet zero. So you do idle. And now you do task A and reset back the cooling time to two. Now you do task B, both the tasks, you don't have to be idle. So total here you can see minimum number of intervals which we need. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight intervals you need to complete all the tasks. So eight will be out. So to solve this question, as you can see, you have to know how many times each task is occurring. So we iterate through the tasks. So we iterate through all the tasks and we calculate how many times each task is occurring. A is appearing once, so add it. A is appearing again, so do plus one. B is appearing again, so do plus one. B is appearing, so do plus one. B is appearing again, add one. B is appearing again, add one. And you reach the end of the task. So A is appearing three times, B is appearing three times, and the rest of the tasks are zeros. You take an array of size 26 because the tasks are represented by capital letters A through Z. So there are 26 uppercase letters. So you use a count array of size 26 where index position starts from 0 to 25. Now we need to access task based on its frequency. So the maximum occurring frequency will appear first. So in this case, A is 3 and B is 3. Max among them is 3. So you can pick either of them. And in this case, as you can see, A is equal to 2, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 1 and D is equal to 1. Now we need to pick tasks in the order A, B, C, D because A is appearing max number of times, next B is appearing max number of times, then C is appearing max number of times, then D is appearing max number of times. So to access these tasks, these counts can be present in any order. So you have to sort this count array in ascending order so that the max tasks are present from right to left. So after sorting, you have an array like this. Now here, as you can see, after sorting, the max value is present in the end. So you need the max value. Max value is three. And you need to do something about this cooling time, right? So for example, there are three A's. So let's define the A's here. So A will appear here. Then after two cooling times, N is equal to two. Then A will appear again. Then again, after two cooling times, A will appear again. So based on this max value, you can decide how many cooling times you need. So here you need two plus two, four idle periods. So max you need four idle periods. And how are you calculating that? So idle count is equal to max minus one into N. Max is equal to three. Three minus one into N is equal to two. So two into two is equal to four. So this is the formula of how many max idle times you need. It doesn't mean that you need four idle times. These are the max idle times. You may be left over with idle times after using some of them, but max you need four. So idle is equal to four. Now we access the max time, right? So we start our iteration from here until the end. So from right to left, we keep on accessing the most frequently occurring time three, which represents the B count. So let's see how we can fit B's. You can fit one B here. You can fit one B here and you can fit one B here. And these two times will be idle. So you use two idle times. So you're left with two more idle times. So what is the total answer? It is the length of the task. How many tasks are there? There are six tasks plus the leftover idle time. So idle is equal to two. So six plus two is equal to eight, which is the expected output here. Now let's implement the same steps in a Java program. 
So here as you can see I'm taking an array of size 26 and I'm calculating the count by iterating through the task. This is a standard way to access the index position. Since the tasks are going to be uppercase letters, if you subtract it with the character capital A, you get the task. So A will be associated to 0 and Z will be associated to 25 and everything in between. And now we are sorting that uh, array in ascending order so that you get the max frequency at the last index position. And we are calculating the max number of idle times we need that is max minus 1 into n. And now we are iterating through the rest of the frequencies. So we are starting from index position 24 because 25 is taken by the max value and we iterate until the beginning and each time we are decrementing it by 1. So we access the task based on its maximum frequency starting from the second max which is at 24th index position until the beginning. And in each time we are reducing the number of idle times we need by taking the minimum of max minus 1 value or the current count. And after this you might note that since we are subtracting, here we are subtracting the idle value right. So idle can become a negative value. But here in the final output we are adding a negative value. So we have to place a check that max idle can be 0, it can't go negative. So you take the max of 0 or idle. So if idle was minus 1, idle will be resetted back to 0 because idle can not be negative. So task.length plus idle will be your final answer. So do a dry run for the second example you will know how idle will become negative. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n and the space complexity is O of 1. You might see that here we are sorting the array so it should be O of n log n right. But what is the size of n? It is 26. So it will be 26 log 26. So this is a constant value. And here we are iterating through the task length which is n. So that is the time complexity n. So n is the length of the task character array. And the space complexity is O of 1 because we are using a constant array size of 26 to compute the output. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.